Okay, so now in this video we're gonna add camera collision and also we're gonna add camera controller as well so that we can set up our camera correctly all right for that right here in the player create a new c -sharp script by the name of camera controller all right click on main camera and drag and drop this script to it then open it up right here remove the start and update method or at the top make a reference to the player transform so we will say public transform player then we will create a float by the name of camera height the camera height by default will be 1.6 then create another float by the name of smooth speed which will be 10 by default and after this after this we will create a public reference to a layer mask right and we will name this as collision mask all right uh, for example all of our environment is on the default layer mask i think all right so we're gonna provide the default layer mask to this and then the camera will get collide with it all right then we will create a float by the name of camera radius make this as 0 0.3 then create a private vector 3 by the name of desired position okay after this create a late update method in here and in this late update first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate the target position of the camera at the player eye level all right since this is a first person game so that's why name this as target position it will be equals to player dot position plus player dot forward multiply that by the camera radius plus vector 3 dot up then multiply that by the camera height all right then we will say desired position equals to target position then after this we are gonna perform a spare cast from the player eye level to the desired camera position so in order to do that we will say raycast hit name this as hit then we are gonna say if first of all we are gonna create a sphere so we will say physics dot sphere cast all right then we gonna create that on the player position plus vector 3 dot up multiply that by the camera height then the camera radius and then we are going to pass the desired position minus the player dot position plus vector 3 dot up let me actually move this down so that you guys can see it correctly all right so right here i'm gonna move this one right down below all right so vector 3 dot up multiply that by the camera height then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this up right there right here we will type dot normalized then we will say out hit then camera 
radius and then the collision mask all right and right here add one more round bracket as well all right let me now move this up so that we can see it in one line because i think we make a mistake here so it should be physics dot sphere cast player dot position plus vector three dot up multiply that by the camera height then camera radius all right okay just remove one round bracket which we added okay just remove that and then once we are creating a sphere we are gonna then put this all in a if condition so if we are creating a sphere all right then what we gonna do we're gonna add curly brackets and the end right there and then press enter to move it down and in here we're gonna adjust the desired position to the point of collision all right so desired position equals to hit a dot point plus hit dot normal multiply that by the camera radius once we do this then we're gonna smoothly incorporate the camera position to the desired position so for that we're gonna say transform dot position equals to vector three dot lerp then transform dot position then the desired position then we're gonna pass the smooth speed to it and multiply that by time dot delta time that is all we have to do all right just make sure that right here the h is capital in this raycast hit you can now get back right here and uh, to the collision mask we're gonna pass the mask so if you click on environment as you can see environment is on default you can also click on default again and click on yes change children so that everything gets to the default layer and when everything gets to default layer make sure that the player is not on the default all right then click on main camera and right here select default all right so now whatever is on the default layer the camera will collide with it and make sure to provide the player transform right there then change the layer of the camera to player let's make the camera height as 1 from 1.6 and then click on player make the radius of it as 0 0.5 back again all right then we can go ahead and play the game all right so now if i show you the camera controller all right let me click on scene view select the player back again here it is if we select the main camera now if you notice if you increase the player height as you can see the camera move up and down all right i have make it one so it is a recording with the player height and the camera radius if you increase it it moves away from the player as you can see all right so just make this as 0 0.3 all right now as you can see there is our main camera here it is all right it still goes inside the objects as you can see so what you can do is you can make the camera radius as 0 0.1 and now as you can see it doesn't go inside the objects okay let me show it to you again just click on player again make this as 0 0.3 and when you make it 0 0.3 and leave this as 0 0.3 as well all right you will notice that it it still do that thing as you can see it still look inside the wall so in order to fix this make this as 0 0.1 and when you make it 0 0.1 as you can see it still do it but if we then click on player and make this as 0 0.4 for example now as you can see it doesn't look but from the side it still does all right so you can make this 0 0.5 and make this just zero all right and now as you can see it looks good
all right it doesn't collide with anything if you check it right here from all sides as you can see it doesn't collide anywhere now all right as you can see so make sure to make this zero or a lesser value 0 0.1 for example and make this as 0 0.4 or 5 all right and then the player will not the player camera will not uh, will start colliding with the objects actually and will not go inside objects all right so now with this done let's end this video right here